Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and uh, we talk about malware this time around and uh, particularly of a report of malware on the different platforms um, that um, are of course on the increase pretty much everywhere. So Windows, Mac OS, Linux, Android um, all have seen an increase in the number of reported malware attacks and malware available as, you know, in general um, when you go out. So, of course, malware, first of all, it's always the same thing. When people ask me what's the best antivirus, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because you are the one that's going to make the virus enter your PC. Nothing else. It doesn't enter by itself. And uh, it doesn't, you know, happen magically. If you have viruses or malware on your PC, you did something that made it happen. Either because you're not updating your system or because you click on everything you see or try all sorts of things you shouldn't do on your computer. It's as simple as that. Um, we have to take that, you know, what a lot of people think of, oh, well, you know, I went on the Internet and, you know, it's Windows. It's, uh, that's why I got a virus doesn't work like that at all. Um, Windows is secure, and every operating system is secure as long as it's up to date. On the uh, Windows side, of course, there has been, once again, an increase in the number of malware attacks and ransomware. That is, you know, a way for a lot of hackers to try to make money. They try to, you know, a lot of groups get together, do malware and ransomware, and try to infect as much people as possible to, of course, have some kind of, you know, money. It's money. It's very simple. Groups make money out of um, having, you know, to sell you or send you that, in, that key that will, uh, you know, remove the encryption of files and stuff like that. It's, it's always the same thing. The number one vector is still email. Email is the number one way you are getting attacks. You're getting ransomware or malware. It's still that. It's more than 90% of all the malware entry points and computers. So clicking on links or, you know, attachments that should not be uh, clicked on. Um, always observe and make sure that you are very careful. The other percentage is often doing things you shouldn't do on the Internet, downloading illegal software, music, movies. And um, not having a computer that's up to date. When I see people telling me, well, you know, I never install these updates, you're going to get hit by malware. It's, that's for sure. Uh, there's no such thing as I'm not updating and I'm fine. You're not. And the worst part is anybody that is not up to date and says I'm fine is probably infected with malware but doesn't even know it. And that's the really the scary part here. Um, so on Windows, of course, there's an increase. It's normal. Windows is the dominant platform for PC. Uh, Android on the increase also. You got to be careful not to download these, uh, you know, the software from these uh, outside of the store. Um, and you know, the Google Play Store is a place to go, and you shouldn't go and download the uh, different packages that you download from apps. It's always dangerous to do so, and you can infect your device. Uh, Mac OS on the increase by about 40-45%. Um, Mac is being more and more targeted for ransomware and for malware. And it shows you that, uh, you know, every platform is uh, at danger. And for Linux users, I say, well, you know, there's really no problem in Linux. 35% increase in malware detected last year for Linux. And a lot more infections on Linux than you would think uh, there should be. And considering that Linux is a very small percentage of the market share of, uh, you know, uh, the operating systems, um, it is uh, kind of interesting that there's a lot of people out there targeting Linux users. So if you think you're safe on Linux, uh, think again. And for those that think, well, you know, I'm tired of all these updates in Windows, there's as many updates as not more on Mac and Linux every month than Windows. It's, there's no difference. Uh, same for Android. It, uh, just, it's just because in Windows, you see it more. It's more front-facing. But um, don't think that one is better than the other. It's not true. 
So increase of malware on every platform. Make sure that you do not click on everything you see. Make sure you're careful. And you know, whatever you're using as antivirus is fine. Um, I do not recommend paying antivirus, it's useless. Just be careful what you do. That's where the security is. 99% of the security of your PC is what you do with it, not the antivirus, which most of the time doesn't detect anything. And that report actually says it, more and more malware undetected by pretty much every antivirus out there. That tells you that antivirus is of very limited usefulness in devices. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching our videos.